Hi guys, welcome to daily technical forex forecast for the 30th of March. My name is Andrew Olshinetsky. I'm a technical analyst at Triumph FX. And as usual, we begin our forecast with the Euro USD currency pair. You see that the price has already broken down the previous level of support and now is fixed below this level. Uh, also, we need to highlight a strong bearish momentum. You see that it was on huge volume. If we take a look at our volumetry chart, yes, you see that huge volume and you see that this uh, bar has broken down the, uh, the local minimum and now the price is trading below it. So all these facts tell us that now uh, bears have more power and now we should consider opening short positions. The scenario for trading the euro is next. We need to wait for a smooth correction of the price, approximately 20-30 pips. It is, uh, um, it is necessary to get a better uh, price for enter. And then, after the creation of new volumetric level of resistance and the fall of the price from this level, we can open short positions with the stop loss below this level. It's 1.0795, so below this volumetric bearish momentum, and then wait for further fall of the price. Our uh, target, our main target is the global level of support, it's 1.0669, 1.0685. So uh, you see that in our case we have more than, uh, we have almost 90 pips of uh, a potential of the deal and our stop loss will be around 35 pips so it's almost one to three risk profit ratio with which is very uh, acceptable and which is very profitable for trading so that's why i advise you to consider uh, trading euro the euro after such a move uh, if if the price in case uh, the price continue falling down from the current level it's better to stay out of the market and wait and wait for the breakdown of this level so in such case it will be just a great signal for opening short positions our next instrument is the pound uh, well you see that the price continued to uh, continued falling and we need to highlight a new level of resistance which was created uh, on this local growth and you see that after the creation of this, uh, of this level the price uh, fell down sharply. This level is 1.2460, 1.2473. If we take a look at our volumetric chart, you see that pretty huge volume is concentrated here and you see that all this move was on pretty uh, high volume so it's this level is uh, a good um, a good point for opening short positions so the scenario for trading the pound is next we need to wait for the correction of the price to this level to get the better the, uh, point for enter and then after the stoppage of the price or the beginning of the fall we open short positions but we shouldn't set stop loss above this level because well yes this is a volumetric new level of resistance but it's not so strong and the price can easily take off uh, our stop losses and then can resume its fall so the stop loss should be set at the level 1.2520 and uh, uh, the first target is 1.2350 50 and the second is 122 uh, this level what sorry uh, 12260 so our global target is this level of support it's global level of support and you see that uh, this deal is uh, pretty interesting we have a small stop loss and a huge potential of the deal so uh, for today's it's my pick um, gpp usd has the best situation for trading now USD GPY, well, the price is still in the uh, consolidation here, it's local minimums, and really, uh, if we take a look at our volumetric chart, you see that the volume is very small, and uh, we, we, have, we have no opportunity to 
uh, highlight any new level of resistance or support any volumetric level so uh, I advise you just to skip this instrument from your trading plan and just to wait for some moves for some new volumes here because you see that uh, overall volumes for last few days are pretty low so this instrument is better just to skip USD against Canadian dollar after the growth of the price of oil you see that this instrument fell down and now is trading inside in the middle of this of its consolidation between two levels so if if the uh, the price of oil will continue uh, growing well in such case more probably we will see the fall of this currency pair and the breakdown of this level so in such case we can consider opening short positions uh, with the stop loss above the breakout volumetric level and the potential of the deal is around 100 150 pips but now there is no good place for enter this instrument because we are inside the consolidation and i advise you not to trade from the boundaries of the consolidation so it's better to wait for the breakout of this range and then uh, consider opening some positions. Our next instrument is the Australian dollar. Well, uh, you see that after the test of the support level, the price started uh, growing up. But if we take a closer look to the chart, you see that this growth was on very small volume, very small volume and uh, you see that this growth is smooth so it's not sharp there is no bullish momentum just little uh, little slow growth of the price on small volume so overall we are still in the consolidation we are enabled to highlight any new level of resistance because you see that uh, well there is no uh, good volume for po for pointing out some mm, new volumetric levels so i advise you just to skip this instrument because really mm, it's in, in the consolidation and i never advise to uh, trade uh, from the boundaries of the consolidation only for the breakout and after the breakout of uh, the range so this instrument should be skipped from our trading plan uh, trading plan as well and our last instrument is gold as you can see from the chart uh, this instrument is uh, still trading in the consolidation about its level of support 1239.60 1242.60 and the level of resistance 1260.00 so if we take a look at our volumetric chart you see that a huge uh, that huge volume is concentrated in this consolidation and it seems like it's uh, um, now it's a phase of accumulation of uh, new deals and uh, after the breakout of the boundaries of this consolidation we will see a strong move of the price so we need to highlight two possible scenarios for trading gold the first one is a continuum of the uh, fall of the price and after the breakout of this level we can open short positions with a stop loss above the breakout bar and the potential of the deal is around 150 pips so it's the level 1224.00 and the global target is 1210 it's a global level of support uh, of course the most important condition is that the breakout should be on large volume because this level is very important and very strong so we need to see the volumetric breakout uh, and the second scenario is the resuming of the growth of the price and the breakout of uh, the level of resistance on uh, increased volume and after the small correction of the price we can open long positions with the stop loss below the breakout volumetric bar and the potential of the deal is around 150 pips as well so for gold we have two possible scenarios because we're trading inside the consolidation and just need to wait for further moves of the price and then uh, enter the market and make some profit if we take a look at our sentiment you see that um, more traders are now uh, trading euro 
from the point of uh, long positions so for us it's, it's an additional signal for opening short positions the same for the pound uh, usdgpy well more traders are still in long positions but i advise you just to skip this instrument until the breakout of the consolidation and creating of new volumetric levels from which we can make trading decisions usd canadian dollar more traders are in short positions but really the same situation as for the yen we're in, in the consolidation so it's better to wait for some um, fresh level uh, volumetric levels and for the breakout of the boundaries of its consolidation uh, the australian dollar well the situation is totally the same and the gold you see that more traders are in long positions for that that tells us uh, that tells us that we need to focus on long positions but still we're in the consolidation and that's why we also need to wait for some better situation for trading so overall the best uh, now the best situation for trading is for the pound so after a small correction of the price we can enter the market and uh, sell this instrument open short positions so uh, as for all other instruments, well, we need to wait for some additional signals for the breakout of uh, the of consolidations, and then uh, we can uh, we should be able we can be able sorry for uh, entering the market. So for today, it's all. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope this forecast will be useful for you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.